respective watch parties. We're going to have reactions to the results so far. And we are live with San Francisco's mayor's candidates as we wait to see who will move on in the next ranked choice round. After my car accident, I wonder what my case was worth. So I call the Barnes firm. Hi, Rich Barnes. Is your accident case worth more than insurance offered? Call the Barnes firm now to find out. You might be surprised. Andy just got that big promotion and is off to Dallas. Lindsay found true love and wrapped up her divorce. And the Johnsons, they're ready for retirement living. What do they all have in common? They need to sell their house fast. John Buys Bay Area Houses provides an all-cash offer for your home in minutes. We buy as is. No repairs, no fees, and you close on your timeline. Just call 510-518-1000 or find us online. John Buys Bay Area Houses. Sell your house the easy way. G'day, I'm Robbie with Continental Sound Import. I'd like to welcome you to our beautifully remodeled slab and tile showroom in Palo Alto. Featuring exotic marble, granite, quartzite, limestone slabs and tile from all over the world. Together with our extensive collection of engineered slabs and tile. And all this at the best prices in California. Carmel Stone Imports in Sand City, Carmel and Palo Alto. The Barnes Farm has years of experience handling thousands of car crash cases. We will give you the support you need and help to get the best result possible. Now you can get your KPIX news, weather, and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today. to 270, so let's take you to the very latest numbers right now outside of the White House. Here is what CBS News is projecting for the number of votes in the Electoral College right now. Former President Trump with 230. Vice President Kamala Harris right now at 176. So we're tracking this critical race at this point in the evening. Former President Trump projected to win North Carolina and is leading by a slim margin in the key swing state of Georgia, but there still are votes to be counted. And the other major swing states are still a toss-up. And we have reporters with both the Harris and the Trump campaigns. We're going to be checking in with them throughout the night. You can see from these live pictures the candidates' parties. They are well underway at this point. Trump is in Florida. Harris is at Howard University in Washington, D.C. We also have our crews fanned out across the Bay Area covering our biggest local races. The polls here in California have been closed for the last hour. We now have our data team standing by to bring you the very latest numbers. That includes the battle for the top office in San Francisco and Oakland. One mayor is trying to fight off her challengers. Another one is 
fighting to keep her job in the face of a recall. But we want to begin this hour with the race with the highest stakes, the presidential election. So here's a look at the popular vote so far from California. 60% Kamala Harris to 37% for former President Trump. But here on our data map, we want to show you the colors really tell a story. The polls are now closed in all of the states. CBS News able to make a number of projections. So you can see Trump is projected to take the critical swing state of North Carolina. 270 electoral votes are needed for a win. So let's take you out live. We travel to Washington, D.C. to be at the Kamala Harris election night party. Our Kenny Choi has been there all evening long, hoping to watch history, the first woman to be elected president. Kenny, how are things there? Good evening. Julia, good evening. Uh, when North Carolina was projected to go in Trump's favor just a short time ago, there was a noticeable shift, noticeable silence among this crowd. Uh, that was that North Carolina, of course, a key state uh, in this election.